Tonight, we're hearing from those who were close to Jose Fernandez and learning about where he and his friends went prior to that boat crash. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from outside the Fernandez home in southwest Miami Dade. Carrie. Well, Ruta Bay, throughout the day and into the evening tonight, people have been dropping off flowers and balloons and saying prayers outside the home of Jose Fernandez. And those who knew him well and those who admired him from afar are left searching for answers tonight. This is the site that baseball fans and fans of the Miami Marlins wish they could see again. Ace pitcher Jose Fernandez dominating opposing hitters and flashing his high wattage smile. On Monday, investigators continue to try and understand why the boat Fernandez was riding in crashed into the jetty near Government Cut, killing Fernandez and two others on board. <laughs> Scott Boris was Fernandez's agent. Such a joyful young man. Boris said Fernandez was disciplined, dedicated to his craft, and a family man at heart. Really enjoyed pitching for his mother and his grandmother. And yet he was such a voracious competitor. And at just 24 and expecting his first child, that competitor is gone. Florida Fish and Wildlife say Fernandez owned the boat that he was on with friends Eduardo Rivero and Emilio Macias early Sunday morning. Investigators have not determined who was driving the boat, but they believe it was going at top speed. The boat was found after 3 a.m. Sunday. A man who snapped this picture of Fernandez outside the American Social Restaurant in Miami took it around 2.20 that morning. It might be the last picture taken of Fernandez. Will Bernal told CBS4 that he was invited to go on the boat trip, but he said no. I didn't have a good feeling about it. It's too dark at night. Bernal said he was worried that Fernandez was upset about something. He showed us some texts he sent his friend Rivero. Try to keep him close to shore if you go out, Bernal wrote. Rivero texted back, trust me, it's not my time yet. Bernal then sent, I know, but try to keep Jose cool. Tell him what I said. Bernal felt the trouble was temporary. Whatever's stressing him out right now, he won't even think about it next week. Fernandez's agent told us he expects there'll be a public event to memorialize Fernandez sometime later this week. Autopsies have been completed on the victims. Investigators say they are still awaiting the results of toxicology tests. At this point, they do not believe alcohol or drugs played a role in this crash. Live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.